Hello and welcome to a brand new video with Strive Med. My name is Dr. Inam. Dr. Zach. Today we have an interesting video for you and it's with regards to um, Ustad Ismail Beaumont, may Allah have mercy on him, raise his mm -hmm. ranks in the Akhirah mm -hmm. and uh, you know really widen his grave for him. Someone who was extremely inspirational for us not only in pursuing the medical journey but just in general in life in terms of work ethic, work output, striving to leave behind a legacy. So we wanted to share some inspirational words from him and then react upon it as well. I believe that I have a lot of control over that. And that's with the decisions that I, 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 I choose to do. And behavior is a choice. Being weak is a choice. You with me? I somewhat control how you perceive me by the way I act, by the way I speak, by the way I carry myself. Does that make sense, Aki? Um, can I just mention one thing, if you don't mind, my bro? One of the things I'm still working on after coming out of cancer is um, it changed me from other people's point of view, but to me, it didn't change me. I just, I just got with the program. And when, you know, may Allah protect you and your family, if, you, if, if, if somebody's faced with um, a life-threatening disease, right, your priorities change sure. in, a, in a heartbeat. So now what my focus is, I mean, I've always tried to be somebody striving for paradise, but now I'm on overdrive. I still have my days. I still have my days because I'm a human being, but I'm on overdrive right now. And oftentimes people don't understand that. You with me? If I, I give you an example. Let's say that, you know, and I'm not saying this is a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm still growing. I'm still working on myself as a person. But let's say somebody post cancer now brings some kind of drama into my life. And I say to myself, wait a minute. In my head, when I prioritize everything, I'm saying, I'm trying to get to paradise. I don't know the next time I'm going to get the call to say it's spread. It's in your lymph nodes now. It's spread to your lungs. It's spread to your kidneys. It's spread to this part. Do you see what I'm saying? That's the cloud that I got over my head. So I could choose to be like, oh gosh, right. Or I can say, you know what? If Allah wills for it to happen, it's going to happen. I can't control that. Let me just focus on those aspects of my life that I can control. And I'm not about to let anybody, care in a man can, Akhi, whoever it is, deter me from that, that, that goal. I can't afford to let it happen. So as a result, I may now have, I may now come across to some people in some situations as being a bit cutthroat because if I sense negativity or drama and I don't see it's going to be conducive for where I'm trying to go, I'm not interested no more. And I never used to be like that. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? That's, that depends on how you look at it. You know, and I, when I was explaining it to my wife the other day, you know, she don't understand sometimes. Like, you're always working, you're always working. And I'm saying, but babes, you have to understand something. I'm a cancer patient. You understand? I could, you know, it's, it's difficult having this conversation with my missus. You know, I could pass away. How are you going to survive? I don't want you to have to marry another man in order for you, you and the kids to, to be all right. You, you feel what I'm saying? Akhi? I, wanna have, I don't want you to have to go to Boris Johnson and put with your hand out and say that I want um, uh, handouts. I want to do that. I'm working hard now so that you guys can be good later. But she might say to me, but sometimes it's about the memories. What do I say to that? What good is, let's say for example, I build Mesa and Little Mesa are up to a multi-million pound organization. She's good financially, but she's got no memories because the last portion of my life, I was just busy, busy, busy. So you feel like you're caught between a rock and a hard place. Mm. Very deep. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's uh, the, the something interesting I wanted to comment on on from his uh, for what he just said is, um, you know, when you know that if you were told we don't know when we're gonna die, right? But if mm. you're told like you're gonna die on, um, you're gonna pass away on third of February at twelve p.m. As he said, you'll be in overdrive. Like your shift and your focus completely changes. Yeah, your priority, your priority changes hundred percent, and. The reality is, bro, Zakaria, that we have been told that everyone is going to die. We don't know the exact date, right? But uh, we do understand Kulu Nafsini that Iqatul Maut. Yeah? Is that every single individual is going to taste death. Every every soul should taste death. So, subhanAllah, the reality is that 
I understand that this individual is on overdrive and he was on overdrive, Allah Mubarak, he left tremendous legacy, yeah? May Allah accept it from him, I mean. increase it from him. But reality is that every one of us should be striving for that. I remember there was an interesting um, case, yeah? Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan was uh, discussing with regards to, he had gone to visit someone who was sick, right? And he was, he was essentially discussing how the fact that they were just saying, like, you know, making dua for, for the, the sick and everything for him to be cured and etc. But I think the main thing which I took from that interaction was that you don't know who's going to die first, the one who's visiting the sick or the one who's actually sick. <laughs> yeah. So the sick person, he, 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 I, from, the, from what I un remember from that video, he was just basically demonstrating the message that could be you first, right? You never know, just because one person's sick and one person's yeah. done well, someone could be faced with a sudden death or, yeah. you know, you never really know. So the reality is that the strive that we have to accumulate our deeds, amass our deeds, that should be, you know, yeah. very, very strong throughout. And I was mentioning earlier that it either happens from inspiration or from like a traumatic experience, something difficult happen happens to you, something that really wakes you up, shakes you up, yeah? So if you have a cancer diagnosis, that can be something that, you know, really shakes you up and wakes you up to perform. Yeah. But, you know, hopefully from this video, you understand that, you know, the simple message is that it could be any time. It could be any time. We don't know when that time is. So yeah. take so this as a message, really. Yeah, so literally just live your life every day like it's your last. And that's it. Uh, and uh, it's... it's, it's it's a powerful way of living actually because you start to get things done things like uh things that um that may have had a the things that may have played a huge role in your life before or may, may have bothered you like i don't know like you were saying that um people like that just want to argue with you or th things basically you start to become streamlined in your approach mm, yeah like i can't be wasting time with this drama this nonsense yeah. which is taking place yeah. really have to focus at the end of the day so i think it's very important especially as doctors medics lay members of the public as well to take lessons from these various things right in medicine there are a tremendous amount of lessons that we can benefit from seeing cases like this and analyzing how they reacted to it how they responded to it yeah ayub salam, how he re reacted to his illness yeah various people who went through different trials how did they react to the situation that they were in and the reality is that you, it's really just about accepting that situation and doing the best that you can in that situation so we just wanted to bring a few of these stories out for you uh hopefully find it's beneficial and um you know you can check us in the next videos all the best until next time